In which ways does culture make us dumb? Which ways? Well, so it, it removes a lot of need to think because it gives us uh, pre-built solutions to problems. It gives us protocols so that we don't have to figure out things for ourselves. Um, just lots of pre-built solutions. So it, it tells us what we need to think and what we need to know in order to survive in the world. So it's made us dumb, you know, in ways X, Y, and Z. But what would be an example today? It's also made us smarter, though. Which oh, I think sure. Is I bet it's made point. us much smarter. But what would be an area today where we're acting in a dumber way because of culture? Well, so for one thing, we're all much dumber, uh, at least in terms of the amount of societal knowledge we have in our heads compared to our ancestors. So if we go far enough back, every single person had to know everything about how to find food, cook food, every feature of the productive system, how to make all the tools. Now, left to our own devices, we wouldn't be able to do the first thing in order to recreate the productive system that we have. So we've been breaking knowledge down into smaller and smaller parts. So in terms of our ability to produce our, for ourselves, it, it's gotten smaller and smaller. And in the book, I have these cases of lost European explorers, where a particular group of explorers gets struck in an environment where hunter-gatherers have survived for centuries, and they're faced with the challenge of surviving. And of course, they can't, because they're missing this large accumulated body that the hunter-gatherers got for free, but it helps you find food and avoid disease and travel and all those kinds of things. As you know, it's a common 18th century theme that the division of labor possibly will make us stupid or uninteresting. And it seems that was wrong in the 18th century. Nicholas Carr has argued, well, Google makes us all shallow and we lose the ability to remember things. Will that also be wrong? Well, I mean, the thing is we have probably been losing memory ability. So as soon as we can write, we can offload lots of information that we'd normally have to keep in our heads. So I've always been impressed living in small scale societies the number of stories that people tell over campfires, and just the amount of, say, folk biological information, information about plants and animals and poisonous and what's to eat, uh, what, what you can eat and what you can't eat and how you have to process it. So there's just this encyclopedic knowledge, which um, you know, I would just use the handbook for, for a lot of that information. But that's not available to you. So we've been kind of gradually figuring out ways to download stuff. And um, I think that's the, the kind of Google problem, is that we have less stuff in our heads, but our ability to do things can still expand.